Box Turtle at Silver Pond Lane by Susan Corum. It is early one June morning. The sun is rising over the old stone house on Silver Pond Lane. Loud quacking and honking noises fill the air as mallards and Canada geese settle on the surface of Silver Pond. In the woods behind the stone house, Box Turtle begins to stir. Box Turtle slowly climbs out of the shallow bed she made under some old leaves and loose soil. The top of her high dome shell is brown with splotches of orange. Her shell is very hard and strong, and it helps to protect her from predators. Box Turtle is hungry. Slowly, she makes her way to the garden near the stone house. Her brown eyes can scan the leafy plants for food. When she was younger, she ate slugs, snails, insects, and earthworms. Now that she is full grown, she also eats fruits and mushrooms. But Bo Box Turtle finds some ripe red strawberries in the garden and eats until she is full. In the summertime, the sun is too hot for Box Turtle. After her meal, she retreats to the shade of the woods. She finds an old hollow log and crawls inside. Soon she is fast asleep in the cool darkness. Box Turtle is resting now, but later she will, she will work hard. The time has come to lay eggs. The afternoon shadows have grown long when Box Turtle emerges from her napping spot. She feeds again, this time munching on some juicy mushrooms from the woods. Then she sets out in search for a suitable nesting spot. As Box Turtle travels across the lawn in front of the stone house, a sprinkler shoots water everywhere. Mosquitoes and gnats hover above the wet green grass. Slowly, steadily, Box Turtle moves along on her strong legs. Soon she reaches hard pavement. As she starts to cross the road, a noise fills the air. Speeding toward her is an enormous, loud machine. A car. In the nick of time, the car swerves around Box Turtle. The driver spotted her brightly patterned shell against the dark pavement. Box Turtle is safe, at least for now. She continues across the road and makes it safely to the other side. Across the road from the stone house is a wide flower bed. Fireflies flicker and dance among the pasta's broad blue tipped leaves. A gentle breeze stirs the tall blooms on daylilies. Box Turtle stops and looks about the garden. She has found her nesting spot. Box Turtle begins the difficult job of digging a nest chamber. With her powerful hind legs, she digs a hole several inches deep in the soil. Her hind legs move one at a time, first the left, then the right. With each stroke, one foot scoops dirt from the deepening hole and piles it behind her. Suddenly, she hears a noise, a rustling in her leaves. Her senses warn her there is danger nearby. Quickly, Box Turtle pulls her tail, feet, and head inside her hard shell. A special hinge on the underside of her shell allows her to close the shell tightly. The leaves rustle again as a young raccoon comes closer. Sniffing the ground hungrily, his king nose has picked up Box Turtle's scent. As the raccoon creeps closer, Box Turtle stays locked inside her shell. The 
raccoon is just inches from box turtle when he, he hears a noise. Someone is coming. The raccoon quickly forgets the box turtle. His eyes, eyes dart about in the darkness as human voices draw near. It is a boy and his father. As the people come closer, the raccoon scampers away. Box turtle hears the murmur of voices. Small beams of light dance over the flower bed as the voices get louder. Box turtle does not move. She stays hidden inside her protective shell. Soon the humans pass by. They are simply out for a walk and stop to admire the flowers in the moonlight. Box turtle waits until it grows quiet again. Slowly, she pokes her head out of her shell and looks around. When she is satisfied that she is alone, she resumes her digging. Soon the nest chamber is as deep as box turtle's legs will extend. Then one by one, she lays four eggs, using her feet to adjust their position. The eggs are smooth and as white as the full moon overhead. With the last egg laid, box turtle begins to fill the nest chamber with soil. Her hind legs pull and scrape the soil into the hole. Then she compacts the soil with her legs and the underside of her shell. She covers her eggs carefully to keep them safe from hungry raccoons, opossums, and other predators. For box turtle will not be here later in the summer when her hatchlings are born. She has finished her job as mother tonight. Digging the nest was hard work. Box turtle is tired. The moon shines high and bright as she leaves her nest and heads back to the woods. By now, the pond is still. The old stone house on Silver Pond Lane is dark and quiet. Box turtle crosses back over the road, plods across the yard and into the woods. At last, she settles down under the white summer moon and sleeps. <laughs>